Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, so now my water is boiling rapidly. I'm gonna open my box of uh, spaghetti. Now, normal traditional Italians uh, like to um, like their pasta, their spaghetti whole and unbroken. I don't have that big of a pot to use. I probably do, but this is me personally. I like to do this. I like to break it. More portions, in my opinion. Sure, it's smaller, but to me, it's just something I like. I like that I've always enjoyed. That should be funny. Actually, you know what? We'll have one. One thing I have, didn't do was add a little olive oil to the water. It'll help to prevent the uh, spaghetti from sticking to each other. Now the package says you should cook this pasta in the water for 10 minutes. One advice I got from Marco Pierre White was if the package says cook it for 10 minutes, do it for nine minutes and 30 seconds. That's nine and a half minutes. Because by the time you get to uh, empty, drain your pasta, um, that would be an extra 30 seconds and any longer it would be overcooked. So the timer is now going for nine minutes and 30 seconds. Now, while I was at commercial break, I was able to take my mixture of pancetta, bacon, and peas and put them in a separate container. Here is the finished uh, carbonara sauce. This right here is the bowl that I'll be plating it in. As you see, there's Parmesan cheese on the bottom. Um, this bowl is what I'll be putting the pasta in originally in order to uh, add the, uh, the carbonara sauce. Now, inside my toaster, I have two pieces of Texas toast garlic bread, which I am now setting for about 10 minutes. So by the time the pasta is done, that should be perfectly cooked. Okay, so now all we're doing is quit cooking the pasta, and when we come back for part four, I will put it all together and show you what it looks like. Bye!